15.16 boards, king of the double doubles. How tired are you? Uh, I'm kind of down under the weather right now, so I was, I was a little winded today. You guys held them to 29% shooting 7 to 25 uh, from outside the arc. What was the approach tonight defensively? What was the execution? Uh, pretty much uh, our focus was just trying to run them off the line, or even if we got their late contested late, and uh, pretty much just trying to limit them to as many wide open shots as possible. Sticks, you tied a career high with five blocks tonight. Uh, what? You know, obviously you said you're under the weather, but where were you able to kind of muster up that extra energy to get down the floor? And a couple of them were, you know, chase down blocks from behind. And, um, you know, what, what do you attribute, you know, that extra kind of effort tonight? Uh, pretty much just Coach Sergeant told me to um, play my play my hardest tonight. Um, he knew I was under the weather, so I told him I was going to give my all no matter what. So, And then things just fell my way, and blocks just happened. <laughs> CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9 percent .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. Jay, when you hit two threes a night, what does that do for your confidence on the offensive end? Uh, it, it boosts my confidence a lot, but I mean, if I got open three, I'm always shoot it. It's no problem with that, but it's just the consistency of making it. Uh, right now, I've just been in the gym working late night, trying to get it more consistent and find the right touch. 18 assists for you guys tonight, 27 made baskets. What was the key in ball in getting the ball moved around the this evening? Uh, pretty much, it's our emphasis on uh, offense is just being selfless, uh, making sure that you're trying to look, make sure you're doing whatever you can do to help the team win. And if that's making an extra pass, then that's what we got to do. Jalen, after struggling in the, earlier on in the first half, you guys hit eight of your last nine shots the final five minutes. What did you notice changed offensively out there? Uh, pretty much, we, I would say we kind of got off to a slow start. Uh, we saw that what we did in Orlando, how when we played Marquette, we got to a fast start and things started to go our way. So we tried to change it real quick before we dug ourselves in a hole. Seems like after the first 10 minutes or so, you start to play towards the physicality. Where you, you start dunking and you get the ball inside and take it to the rim. Do you feel the change in you from when the game starts to after you get up and down the court for a few minutes? Uh, yeah, it's always a huge change. Uh, pretty much just the uh, adrenaline starts pumping, and uh, whenever you see a, an open dunk, you try to make that highlight. Speaking of highlights, your teammates had some pretty impressive ones. You know, Eric had that one-hand slam in the first half, and Aaron followed up his own miss with that put back. On the you know on your scale, which one did you think was better? Uh, to be honest, I say I like Wiggs better because. I got I caught the last second of it because I saw him shoot a three and I was I thought it went in but then I just saw him flying out of nowhere trying to get the rebound I was like wow and then I saw it on a replay. 